Okay, here's an early attempt at a hexapod. As you can see it has popsicle sticks for legs, which are much too long for these size of servos. Using a quick start board for the brains, and on the bottom there's a tangle of wires. Um, of course there's 18 servos. And I have three battery packs there. Um, the blue battery pack is for the quick start board and the other ones are for um, the legs. And let's see if it can support itself and I'll grab, try to grab the battery pack at the same time so we can keep it tethered. But no, it kind of caves. It doesn't quite have enough gumption to lift itself up. The legs are much too long. But let's see if we can hold it up in the air and watch the leg movement a little bit. If I did the reverse kinematics correctly, the, oh, I pulled out the front, the leg, the front legs don't have power now. But let's watch this uh, leg motion a little bit. And as the leg comes back, that uh, knee joint actually moves a little bit to try to keep the leg position directly underneath as it moves forward. So it moves in a straight line and the leg doesn't skid. That's the hope. Of course, these popsicle legs flex so much that I doubt the calculated position is going to be the real position. But anyway, so Eric wanted a, an early peep at the video, and here it is at the robot. Here's the robot. It is not working yet. I will need to use either more powerful servos, shorten the legs might work. Um, but anyway, there it is. Um, I have a uh, Lego turntables actually on the other side of the hinges um, to give it a little bit extra support. Um, what else do you, should I tell you about it? It's my first hexapod. I don't know if I know enough to do it right still yet, but I think I have the inverse kinematics kind of figured out um, because actually the, um, the robot is being given X, Y, and Z coordinates for its feet with regards to the, the center joint up here. And then it just computes the angles needed to get to that point. And what else do you want to know? We have popsicle sticks. I have some two millimeter hardware in there with nuts and bolts. Um, using the white um, polymorph plastic to hold things together and Gorilla Tape to hold things together. Okay, well we'll end it there. It does not walk yet. We'll try again in a bit.